Well, hello, Internet, and welcome to part four of my jQuery and Ajax tutorial. If you didn't see part two of my tutorial, definitely run back and see it, and you should probably watch part one as well, because at the end of part two, I actually show you the working web page that we are going to create in this tutorial. I'm going to walk you through all the code that went into creating that web page. So if you didn't see it, go back and look at it now, and if you did see it, onwards we move. Here's how I begin that web page. I open up my HTML page and then I link to the jQuery library. Here I create a whole bunch of CSS style definitions that I'll use below. And if you don't understand any of this, you should definitely check out my CSS style tutorial. Here I assign on click event handlers as soon as the web page loads to all of the buttons below and state which function should be called when that event is triggered. As you can see here, all the events I'm assigning are on click event handlers. For example, if someone clicks the button with the ID name, one button below, it's on click event handler will be triggered and the function add email icon will be called. The HTML code for that button, you can see here in the third bulleted item in your lower left hand side of your screen. Here I'm looking for any links that exist that have a value that begins with mail to and when I find one, I change its class to the email class that will place an email icon in the background. The email class looks like this, if you can't remember from before. This bit of code will search all tables that exist and change those rows to the class table alt. If I, however, wanted to change the odd numbered rows, I would just simply replace even with the word odd as I show here. Here I'm choosing to change the class of every first row in every table on the web page. There are numerous ways to change children elements inside of any parent element, as you can see. Here I tell the browser to find the third paragraph on the web page and change its class. This code changes the class for every paragraph element that lies in a div element on the web page. And if you haven't figured it out, of course you can hit pause or go to newthinktank.com where you can find all this code 100% free. Here we look for the text fourth inside of every paragraph element. If we find that word, I change the attribute of that element so that the text color equals yellow. Here I'm searching for elements that have the attribute align assigned some value. If I find one, I then assign the change listed. I could also search for elements that have an attribute assigned with a specific value. If I was looking for a paragraph element with the attribute align assigned to the value of left, I would do exactly what you see here in the third bullet item. I'm looking here for an element that has the ID name of third, and if I find it, I then check if that element is a paragraph element. If both check out, I pop up an alert box that states that fact. The rest of the code is straight HTML, so you understand it. And if you don't, you should definitely check out my HTML tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to cover pretty much everything there is to know about event handling in jQuery and Ajax. Till next time.